So I watched Star Wars Revenge of the Sith again for about the five bajillionth time a couple nights ago, and when I got to the scene where Anakin slaughters the Separatist leaders on Mustafar, I realized that there was a lot going on in this scene, and I kind of wanted to unpack it all in one video. So here you guys go. So right off the bat, I noticed that this scene was quite dark and shadowy, much like other scenes in this movie, so I turned up the lighting on it a little bit just to make it more visible. So there we got Anakin, and the two guards don't seem at all phased by this dark presence. It's kind of a fault by them. And then we got Newt talking to him a little bit, and this is where the carnage begins. So for this shot, it looks like we got a couple of key separatists right here. I see the banking clan guy from episode 2, as well as, a, looks like a random Geonosin, and he's just, just as surprised as the banking clan guy. However, Watt Tambor doesn't seem to notice at all. He's back there with his control panel. The battle droids obviously know something's up. But at this point, these guys still don't seem very phased by the dark presence that's about to slaughter them all. So then after that part, the scene cuts, and we get to see Anakin going absolute ham on these Separatists. There's him absolutely destroying a security battle droid, I believe. The red ones are security, if I'm not mistaken. And then he's going on to his next victim. I think that's a Nemoinian in the background. Yeah, that's, that's a random Nemoinian. He's about to go down. Yeah, he's cowering in fear. Um, and then I think there's another Nemoinian right next to him. Yeah, there he is. He's completely slicing that guy in half. I, did he get two guys? With, he got three guys with that one sweep. He got two Nemoinians and then one battle droid. Very efficient of Mr. Vader. And then I think he's going back for another swing. Yep. Yeah, he's going back for another one. So we're about to get a scene change in just a second. And it's going to give us a wider view. Yep, there it is. Of Anakin's ruthless slaughtering of these guys. What I've noticed during this scene, there goes one of the random... I think it's one of the Separatists from the second movie, who's in that Separatist council room in the second movie. Yeah, he's an absolute gunner. What I was saying, one of the... I think one of the main problems here, at least with writing, is that the Separatists don't really want to escape. Perhaps it's not bad writing, perhaps it's... <laughs> George Lucas just wanted this to be comical, but these, these Separatists really don't seem like they want to escape. They're just standing around. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, you see, this this one Nemoinen that we've been focusing on for the entire time, the foreground, he's just standing there. He He's not trying to run away. He's just happy to be along for the ride. Um, the battle droids in this scene also, I think, they, the red ones, red means for security battle droid, obviously. And, um, they're obviously not doing their job very well, are they? He's just sitting there. He's fired two shots, but they were right above Anakin's head. Horrible, horrible aim. Worse than a stormtrooper, possibly. Uh, and, yeah, the battle droids are no help whatsoever. So, I don't... These guys don't really seem like they want to survive. I think they just... They're like, you know what? Vader's here. I've accepted my fate. You know, it's natural selection. So, I have a Lithidus. I'll just go out right here. There goes another one. I think that was an Ocul... Aqualish. Yeah, that's the Aqualish, and he's out of the picture now. He got his head sliced off. Um, uh, and now I think, is Anakin, oh, we get to see part of Anakin's face. He looks really mad in this scene, and, uh, oh, he's killing one of the, oh, wait, did he just make that guy fall? Yeah, that guy just tripped and fell. What in the world? He sliced his head off, and you're like, you know what? just gonna fall on the ground one of the oh here i'll tell you about that in just a second uh here is anakin about to kill poggle the lesser tragic end to poggle's incredible legacy in which he led the powerful geonosians throughout the war there he goes goodbye poggle <laughs> he sliced right through him uh like I was saying, one of the main things I've noticed about this scene is that Anakin seems... It's, it's really good writing on George Lucas's part, personally, I think. Anakin seems 
just way more enthusiastic about killing these guys than he did the younglings in the Jedi Temple. For that scene, he seemed quite down and sad about it. You know, he was like, oh, I don't want to do this. But here he just seems to relish every second of killing these horrible separatists that he's hated for the past two years of the Clone Wars. So here we go. He's, I think he's going to kill... That's not Lock Dirt, is it? No, no, that's... I don't know who that is. But he's about to bite the dust with a simple swing of Anakin's lightsaber. There we go. That was a pretty hard shot for a second there. One of those frames could have been used as my profile picture. Uh, so he did one cut, and I think he's going to do a second cut right here. Or no, he didn't. Just looked like he didn't. Here's the battle drug with the gun. Is he gonna get an like? Is he gonna get one shot fired? Oh, he got one shot fired off. Good job. See that guy actually tried to help. The other ones just sat around like bricks and did nothing. But yeah, that battle droids top lever. Uh, he's just totally biting the dust. I don't know who this guy in the background is. Oh, that's another random Nemoinian. I think like 90% of the Separatist Council is just random Nemoinians who stand around and do absolutely nothing. Uh, so we got a scene change here. Anakin's going in for... I don't know who that... Oh, it's, it's the Nemoinian. One of those dumb pilot Nemoinians who you don't actually get to see their eyes. They're covered up by these steel balls. And that was a clean cut by Anakin. Wow, good job for him. So we got another scene change here. And I think this is a really short one. I think it's just Anakin throttling a battle droid. So at least I take solace in the fact that at least a few of the battle droids are attacking him. You know, at least a few of them are putting up a bit of a fight. But this guy got just absolutely demolished. One swing of Anakin's lightsaber and he was absolute toast. So they're obviously not, not putting out much of a fight. I think a better course of action for them would have just been to run and try to escape. And maybe they could have escaped this horrible fate, you know? But no, they're way too stupid for that. And now, I don't know how Watt Tambor got back there. He was at the control console like a second before this, so I don't know why he's, and how in the world he got back there, and he's now sitting at the end of that long table waiting to be chopped down, but now we're gonna, I want you to pay attention to Watt Tambor and how cool of a shot this is. You've got Anakin, evil Anakin, obviously in the foreground, but in the background, Watt Tambor, he's just looking at the table, I think. He's just contemplating his last moments of life, looking at that stinking table. He could have been jumping out the window. He could try to escape that way. He could do a number of things. He could even try to attack Anakin, which would be better than just rolling around and on the ground and let, letting Anakin murder him. But no, he's just going to sit there and <laughs> accept his fate. It's a pretty cool shot, though. That volcano in the background really adds to it. And here we go. Newt Gunray is the last Separatist leader that Anakin takes care of, which is, I think, pretty ironic because he was the very first Separatist to join Sidious in the Separatist cause. But we're going to get a bit of dialogue here, and did you notice how Anakin randomly just jumped in there? I don't know where in the world he jumped from, but he came right down. Like, he came right down from the ceiling, it looked like. So now Newt Gunray is taking up defensive stance. He's going to talk for a while, so I'm going to speed this part up so we can get rid of that dialogue and just see the slicing action. So here's the kill. It's just a slice, and Newt Gunray is gone. What I admire about Darth Vader here is that he's not really, like, despite how much he hates these people and what his mission is, He's not going to just sit around and torture them. Like he, There's not one instance where he chokes one of these guys. Like, unlike what he did to Padme later in the movie. But right now, he's, he's not really trying to torture them. He's just trying to, you know, dispatch them quickly and efficiently. And that's exactly what he's doing. So that's, that's the end of Newt Gunray right there. And I think there's one more shot where we see all the Separatist leaders dead. So we're going to hyperanalyze that in just a second. And now we get to see Anakin's eerie results. The entire place was bustling before. You saw a lot before. But the entire place was bustling, and now we just got a graveyard of guys. So it's quite sad to see, but I guess he was quite efficient about that, wasn't he?
If you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like and a sub, because I've got a bunch of content planned. So, stay tuned. Bye, guys.